Well then, would you bloody believe it? Look at that. The sun, where the, it was there a minute ago. Oh, always happens when you put the bloody cameras on, doesn't it? But anyway, hopefully it's going to be dry. Let's go to England. So, thank you very much, Ken Ross, for looking after us this evening, or well, yesterday evening. Last stop, or well, last overnight stop in Scotland. And now back down to England. Quite a cute reception building, isn't it? You couldn't get more ye olde farmy than that. And because of the great weather, it's dark visor time again. Ray! Finally get to look cool again, except for the waterproofs. Oh, isn't it lovely that no, everything's not covered in water? That doesn't count, that's just a, it's a, it's a road reservoir. Look at that. So we get a, a coffee to go as well. You wouldn't believe the amount of times I've been to petrol stations and shops and things and they've seen me struggle in with a helmet, bag, gloves, in leathers, and they go, is that to go? Yes, mate. I'm gonna put it on the cup holder on my handlebars and I'm gonna drink it through a three foot straw. Right. Bang, bang, water, and then the trip continues. Oh, look at that, there's the mothership. And there's the bridge. Oh, so here we are coming over the Queensbury Bridge. Well, it looks brand new, doesn't it? It's spanking. And then that there to the left is the old fourth bridge, which my uh, local Scottish tour guide was just telling me they found out it was falling to pieces. So now it's just for pedestrian traffic and public transport. And the one over there, further away, is the fourth rail bridge, which is odd because it's actually the third bridge. But whatever. And apparently the fourth rail bridge is slightly older than Scotland. No, no, that's not possible, is it? It's quite old. It's not as old as Ian, but it's older than me. No, it's older than, it's older than that, even. <laughs> so that's us circumvented Edinburgh on the city bypass, bit of soulless dual carriageway action. And uh, I've had a quick detour there because I completely missed the turning, so Ian has kindly waited for me. Now we're going to blast down the A7 to get our shields and hoik, which isn't spelled anything like you think it is. Harwick, as a stiff upper lip proper Englishman would say, hoik to a Scotsman. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. That was ridiculous. I should look at the signs more than at the sat nav. This is my robotic German training. The system says go right. I must go right, even though I know it's left. Right, time to progress, isn't it? What what? Come on, out of the way, there you go. Mm, that's insane, isn't it? Oh, we were felt up by the greasy capitalist hand of BP garage earlier on. We filled up for 148. At Tesco's there, it was 125. Disgusting, that's just filthy, isn't it? That's horrible. Depression over. The bends, the bends. Traffic lights. We're gonna go via the duct. So we're going straight over here. Off to Carlisle. Go and say hello to Belinda. All right, so this is now the A7 between Edinburgh and Gala Shields, which hopefully very shortly should become rather twisty. Ian, check your mirrors for bikes. No, there's no bikes on that one. No, no bikes on that one. I'm all good, how are you? Oh, hang on, yeah, there's one on that one now. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell, there's one on that one too. Jesus. They're everywhere.
now the B6399 between Hoyk and Newcastleton. That's the end of our little dog leg detour. We're gonna go back up onto the uh, 6357 to kill the forest, where the mothership is waiting for us with a hot cup of tea and, and a goodbye cuddle. We saved shed loads of time there. Chopped 10 minutes off. I imagine by the time mum's parked up, had a wee, put the kettle on, we'll probably be there. Somebody's got a reek and love around here somewhere. I can smell it. Whoa, that's a pointy one. <laughs> really chickened out there. I was going to give that the beans, but I didn't really fancy getting both wheels off the floor. It came in at the right angle, but still didn't really fancy uh, the wobbling tank slapper that was going to come afterwards. What a lovely wee burn! This was well worth the detour, wasn't it? That tightens up. Must be killed a forest then. Oh, is that rain? Oh, look at these. There's another one. A mug rally. Do you think when they stop for lunch they'll go to McDonald's? Considering this is supposed to be the forest, there's not a lot of forest left, is there? Oh, look at that over there to the left. Oh yeah, it's the end of our detour. Back onto the A68, well, back onto it, we went on it. Joining the A68 and then the mothership should be waiting for us just on the border between England and Scotland. If we can ever get out here. Ah, nice big space. Well, this is a lovely road, isn't it? Why didn't we come this way? <laughs> Look at that. 
So uh, I'm in England and you're in Scotland. But there she is, there's the mothership. Hiya! Hello! Can you take a picture of us, please, Ben? <laughs> Steady on! <laughs> Get your hands off me, nuts! <laughs> Well, that's that then. As I leave Scotland, and those lovely, lovely hills over there. I also leave the folks base camp and one half of Bike Team Alpha as they're continuing on to Newcastle to go and see Ian's daughter. And also, that reminds me, have some work done on the van because it needs some servicing and that's where they got it from. Yeah, thanks base camp. Thanks for keeping us warm and dry, despite all of that water that Scotland threw at us. We always have somewhere to dry our knackers. We are weary heeds. Yeah, that was brilliant. Camper vans friggin' rule. <sighs> right then. Bye, mummy. Oh, bloody hell, look at this. There's a friggin' camper van in front of us now. What a nightmare. And then Ian stacked his bike mere minutes later on his cold tyres. <laughs> Although it was a, a nice send-off for the chap with the bagpipes to come out and squeeze his sack of cats for us as we were leaving. That might upset some people of a certain nationality when I say that I think they sound friggin' awful. It's like someone emptied half a dozen cats and half a dozen sea urchins into a bag and then started squeezing it and shaking it about. <coughs> Bloody hell! Oh well, a very very goodbye to you sir! Thanks very much for everything. And drive carefully! That was uh, dried carefully! <laughs> oh, the losing signal! He's going to the dark side of the moon! Houston! Come in Houston! No, we've lost radio. We've lost radio with like a Team Alpha. So, we're all on our own now, folks. That is the mothership, Andy Man Mum, and Ian. Off on their merry way, and now us, off on our merry way. Hopefully, weather permitting, and it looks promising so far, across the Yorkshire Dales. But not until we've crossed over the Pennines, I think. So, we've got three hours of riding, about five hours to do it in before it gets dark so let's have a nice relaxing ride shall we try and nurse my michelin road five tires all the way back to hamburg over the next five days they have done me exceptionally proud oh dear i spoke too soon about the weather didn't i soaking wet road and we're following a rain cloud following a rain cloud as it sweeps across the land if you could just piss off now that would be really grand! Luckily, I've still got my waterproofs on, but mostly because I was cold. But this has had a very fresh sprinkling. Hopefully by that bad boy, he was pissing off that way, because that's the way the wind's going. But that was a truly enjoyable time in Scotland, despite horrendous weather. I mean, the weather was, let's be honest, it was pretty awful. And the, the fact that looking at the satellite maps, looking at the weather forecasts, it seems like we really did come at absolutely the worst possible time. It was sunny up to the day we got there. It's sunny the day that we've left. And I looked at the weather a minute ago and it's still clear in Scotland right now. So terrible, terrible luck there. But despite that, using the satellite rain map, we managed to actually get wet surprisingly little. But incredible scenery. The place is just breathtakingly beautiful. Scotland, if you haven't been there and you're in the UK, and you can't be asked to go on a ferry, then get yourself up the A1, get yourself up the M6, or get yourself up the A68. This is a pretty fantastic way to cover some distance. And uh, see Scotland, that was awesome. If you can get there with some good weather, all the better. Now, we took, uh, I think, five days in total to do the full circuit, with a bit extra, with a little bit also chopped out. But of course we did it in a slightly different way because my stepdad was having dialysis in the camper van in the campsites. We needed more of a central location and we did like a cloverleaf 
coming from inland out to the coast and then doing a section of the NC500 and then going back into the inland again. Of course, if you were going to go there, stay in accommodation on the seaside, somewhere near to the route, obviously the, you're going to be able to cover a lot more distance off of the route and probably do it a bit quicker. Or I would quite happily recommend to take just as long and just do a lot less every day and actually take time to stop look at the beaches some of those beaches were absolutely stunning i'm not saying you're going to want to get your bikini out but the beaches were amazing just to go and have a look chuck a stone in the sea maybe draw a cock and balls in the sand whatever you do when you go to the beach but it'd be nice to be able to do those kind of things i would have liked to have chucked the drone up a bit more but again time weather yeah sadly left me heavily restricted on that front but still hopefully this series has been enjoyable to you Hopefully the tour has been fun to watch. It's been a lot of fun to, to be on. Once again, despite the incredible shit weather, the bike has been running like an absolute sewing machine. It has been fantastic. And also the tires have once again, utterly impressed my pants right off because despite the fact that they are now on the ragged edge, they are very close to being completely finished with I think uh, now about 11,000 kilometers on them. I think that's about 7,000 miles, give or take. But regardless, they were providing shed loads of grip and I was smashing that around some seriously wet, flooded roads without a care in the world almost. It was, yeah, it was a pleasure to ride on these tires, even though they are almost worn out. I mean, that is, that is impressive. They don't feel like old tires. Like when your tires normally get worn out, you start to feel the corners, you feel the edges, you feel the bike doesn't want to tip in as much. You feel that sort of 50 pence kind of a feeling as you're going around the bend. These tires just don't feel like that. They've really wowed me, I'm impressed. The waterproofs I've got, sadly, not quite so great. I've got a wet crotch every time it's rained. And this jacket and these trousers, because of the stretchy material, they seem to be still waterproof. I've been dry underneath, except for the crotch, except for the neck, but that's pretty standard. But I've always felt cold and I've felt heavy because the fabric soaks the water up, so sadly that's a bit of a fail on that front. I might have to go back to the drawing board as to what waterproofs I'll use on the next trip. But yeah, with uh, all of that covered off, it's probably a good place to end the trip. I mean, we've just left Scotland, we've just left the folks. I guess every good thing has to come to an end, doesn't it? So. With this glorious view over the northern English hills, I will bid you adieu. Thank you so very much for watching. I've been Andy Man Cam. The other two have been Andy Man Mum and Ian. I hope the tour has been enjoyable for you. I hope the videos have been interesting and entertaining. If they have, please do give them a thumbs up. Hit the like button. If they haven't, give them a thumbs down. If you're not already, get yourself subscribed to the channel. Press the little icon with the bell on it to make sure you don't miss out on any videos like this in the future. And I promise you there will be a lot more. In the meantime, enjoy your summer that's about to start. And I will see you next time.